Virgos. Hey, lovies. I wanted to dive back into this energy. I just did a reading on the Closer to My Destiny's Tea channel. And I wanted to come over here and dive back into the energy and see what else comes out. See what you guys might resonate with. And I wanted to do a part two. So I'm putting it over here with you guys. Well, let's see what's going on. I like to feel like my collective energy is all united. All right. So check that video out on the other side. A lot of you probably already did because a lot of you are following me from over on that side here. So, guys, let's go ahead and tap into this energy. I am praying that everybody is safe and out of harm's way, covered and protected divinely. Um, I am sending you a multitude of love, light, and positive energy. And I'm asking for spirit to give you abundance in every situation you may face. Um, healing in your body, hearts, minds, souls, and spirits. And victory in every situation you may face. Okay? Amen. Let's count it done. Okay? So, the deal. What's going on with my Virgo spirit? Show Virgo what's going on in their energy. Um, on the other side, it was saying some be careful because this person may try to hurt you. Um, it was also talking about somebody that's kind of bitter at your rejection because you chose yourself um, over dealing with them. Feel like this person was hiding something and you could you felt it. Okay, you felt it very strongly. Let's go ahead and tap into this energy though. And I see that somebody is going to jail very soon. So you don't have to worry, okay? Like whoever this is that's bothering you, they're about to go to jail. Okay, somebody's person is going straight to jail. When I see you, look, when I see you online, I always want to call you, date you, murder that, meaning have some rough sex or whatever. This person is going to jail very soon. I am trapped in a relationship that I don't want to be in. Took a wrong turn. So somebody's dealing with people that are shady. Something's going on here where this person is not doing what they're supposed to do. They kept you on a need to know basis, secrets and lies, and this is why you walked away. Um, and they they could have toxic family members or toxic brothers and sisters that are gossiping. This could even be you, all right. But they're somebody's gossiping about you. When you tell me no, lol, off I go. There's hell to pay. So you're dealing with somebody very stubborn, a bit narcissistic that likes to get their way. Somebody very conceited, and they don't care who they got to hurt to get a point across. Okay. Somebody that feels like they have something to prove, okay? I don't know what that's about. That's a self-esteem thing, though, a confidence thing. And it's usually lack thereof if they're doing malicious things to get people to pay attention to them like that, okay? I'm single and loving all of my options, not sure if I will settle down again. And I feel like that's fine, but this person lied about that. Like, you don't care. <laughs> like, it's just like, you're not, if I don't, I only want what's for me. And I'm getting that very strong. You only want what's for you, Virgo, so you could care less. And this person is like bitter. They want to argue with you. They want to beef and all that. Like, who got time for that? My girlfriend is toxic. I only stay because I can do whatever I want. I got her obsessed. All right, so why are you messing with my Virgo again? Karmic, here to teach you a lesson. That's why, okay? Let's go ahead and break it on down. Let's get some feelings on these cards before we tap into the tarot. Let's see. And then we're going to ask her what she's supposed to do in this situation. Um, what do you need to get out of this? If there's any lessons to be learned, because there is. It's a karmic. All right. So you guys have your karmics coming back and people that are karmic coming towards you to test your faith, to give you a test of commitment, dedication. Like how much do you mean the things that you're saying about self-love and yourself? Right? How much do you love yourself? How much are you healed? When I see you online, I always want to date you and call you and have sex with you. Let's see. Um, We got the party card external. So this person could have been guilty of messing with somebody behind your back. Or they want to take you out. Take it how it resonates, guys. Um, I definitely feel the energy of somebody who brought somebody into your situation. Or they were already in a situation and they lied. Okay? transcendence unity so this person is thinking about being one with you i feel like this person let me see one more card on this person is going to jail very soon uh-huh so this person is out doing things that they shouldn't be doing um some of them their intuition is blocked so they don't even see this coming but there's going to be some type of i feel like they're going to be with someone and this person whichever way that they're going this person just being with them, this person is going to get them in some trouble. I don't even feel like it's this person's fault. I feel like they're wrong place, wrong time. But either way, their intuition is blocked because of the choices they've been making and how they've been playing with people, right? So, boom, jail. 
I'm trapped in a relationship that I don't want to be in, a wrong turn. This person is thinking deeply about that and they're isolated, okay? They're stuck in their thoughts about that. So this person is trapped. Whoever they're with is not letting go, period. And this person is like trying to save face and lie. They're trying to leave and separate themselves from this person, but not really. Like, what? <laughs> So we have um, a rebirth could be coming in the winter between you and this person or just period. You'll be able to fully get this person out of your energy or this person is going to be coming towards you. You know, it's cuffing season now. These people, these mofos are lonely. Okay. Don't let them make you think you're lonely, please. You're at peace. They're lonely. Okay. Seeking and constantly going out, trying to find somebody to feed off of. That's not you. A need to know basis, secrets, lies, and games. Now, if you're out there, you just want to be out there. Mm-hmm. I know. Action, courage, Jupiter, beginnings, okay? Yeah, so I feel like this new beginning was toxic from the beginning because this person kept you on a need to know basis. They played a lot of games, did a lot of lying, and kept a lot of secrets. Who got time for that? Toxic siblings, brother or sister gossiping, and I feel like you're getting downloads. Some of, some of y'all had a dream about this person. So whatever sibling you saw in your dreams, that's that person. To um, toxic and talking crap about you. Just jealous. When you tell me no, LOL, off I go, there's hell to pay. So this is somebody very petty and immature. And guess what? That caught up with them. They sitting here in regret right now because they lost you. Bye. And somebody said, all right, bye. <laughs> I know that's right, y'all. I'm single and loving all my options. Not sure if I will settle down again. Oh, yeah. So this person is saying, I'm not, I'm not, I'm not trying to settle down. I'm good. Like they want to stay single. And that's cool. I feel like Virgo, you're like, okay, and I be I feel the same way. It's like, why can't we talk about that? It's because they know if they tell you that, they're not going to be able to have their way with you, period. Male or female. Reflection, projections. My girlfriend is toxic. I only stay because I can do what I want. I got her obsessed. And I feel like this person was trying to project that ugly energy onto you, trying to get you obsessed with them or something. And I feel like this person thinks way too highly of themselves. They're not even taking care of themselves. So that's very unattractive. So, yeah, ew. You can put on a clean pair of clothes all you want. Like, you're not taking care of yourself. And that's how you look at them. Like, what the hell is all the hype? Like, honestly, you're cool, but stop. Right? This is a soul contract here that you are fulfilling with this person being in your energy. And whatever lesson they taught you, you learning it is going to elevate you spiritually. Okay? This person also has a lot of obligations, all right? And they're putting you on the back burner or some of you, they didn't give you enough time or they kind of were neglectful when it came to this connection. And this is why they're obligated to things. They have all these responsibilities and they're not telling you. They didn't tell you everything. Control tactics. So that's what this person was doing, trying to control you, honestly. This person kept trying to put you in a chaser energy and it did not work because you're more healed than they see. Like, you're healed. Like, you don't, you're not, a lot of you are out there because you got bored and you wanted to go mingle a little bit because you can't meet your person just in the house. Like, so this person is like having all this false confidence. You got this person's head big as a hot air balloon. Okay? They need to calm down. Stability is here. They're trying to be controlling when it comes to stability, harmony, and an even flow of emotions, give and take. They don't want to do an equal give and take. Because inevitably, a lot of you want a relationship and they don't want it. Feel like they're not trying to reunite. They're not going to come back towards you for a lot of you because they can't have their way with you. You won't let this person manipulate you and play games like they do with everybody else. They're not going to get away from that crap. Get away with that. But you look, you set good intentions into the universe. You're a creator. And not only that, self-love is who you love yourself. More than they could ever love you. Okay, so you're like, yeah, it's not worth the sacrifice. All right, let's see what Spirit wants to tell you about this connection. Spirit, what's your advice for my Virgos? What should Virgos do with this person? Hold on, first, let's get the tarot spread. Spirit, give us the tarot spread version first and let us see what's happening. What does Virgo need to know about what's going around them? What's the message, please? Yeah, this person is um, bitter as hell. And I just saw the Seven of Swords. Getting away with something. This, and it could be a Taurus Capricorn of Virgo. Look, a younger Taurus Capricorn of Virgo. Or somebody in this immature energy. They're just not moving. Woo. 
Oh, bless me. Thank you. For some of you, it's a Cancer Pisces Scorpio. This person wants to come towards you. Look. And it's somebody that is trapped in a relationship. They're thinking about it. Somebody wants to take you out. They can't stop thinking about you. I feel like for some of you, this is your ex. And they're not coming towards you. This is a soulmate connection. You guys were really close at one time. Um, time drifted you apart. And now, this is where it is. They already have a girlfriend for some of you. Or a boyfriend. For some of you, they're dealing with the water sign, King of Cups. Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. And for some of you, the female, somebody is dealing with a Libra, Gemini, or Aquarius. Or a Taurus, Capricorn, or Virgo. Okay, we got a group here. <laughs> we have the King of Cups, the Queen of Swords, and the King of Pentacles. I feel like somebody was trying to show you big love and you cut their ass off because they're a karmic. Whatever this person was doing, it was not bringing you joy. Okay? The sun in reverse. This person is not happy they're not a positive energy and i feel like this person brought you a lot of worry a lot of stress okay and with this um devil card this could be a capricorn that is really not happy they could be suffering they could need some love they could need some spiritual guidance i feel like somebody is um maybe they spoke to there's a libra here so there's some type of mother figure or something that somebody could be talking to or this is you, my female Virgo, standing their ground against this male Virgo and this <laughs> king of cups. <laughs> For some of my female Virgos, you have options, okay? For some of my male Virgos, you found out that this female was dealing with somebody behind your back. You feel like they're toxic, so you don't want to deal with them. Yep. For some of y'all, this karmic um, earth sign is like doing the most, Okay. And you're over this person and their raggedy energy. Okay, yes, raggedy energy. We get sick of it. Raggedy and dusty. Stop. Just go somewhere. <laughs> Seven of Pentacles. Look, and they're not letting go. They're sad. They're waiting for opportunity. They feel like they want to continue to invest in this. They know it's going to be a good turnout. You said, say it ain't so. Look, they watching and waiting, honey. Watching and waiting and wishing and watching and wishing and waiting and watching. Yeah, that's what they're doing, spying on you, all right? But you gave this person a fair opportunity, and they messed it up. Mm -hmm. Let me see how much time we got. Uh, oh, and I, oh, was that, 12 minutes? Hey, y'all, we're really showing off with the time, okay? We're really showing off with the time. Sorry, my booty knocked my phone out of the chair. All is well over here, okay? All is well <laughs> with my little sexy soul, okay? With my little sexy soul. All right, y'all. Y'all know I got cut up. All right, let's see what's going on. Let's see what else. Let's see what else we can get. Spirit, can you please give my Virgos advice with this fine person and what we have going on here? It's this King of Cups energy. Got somebody wanting to come towards you. But you said, I feel like you guys set the tone for this person. You let this person know. Don't play with me. Do not. And my Virgos do not play. Don't come over here. This is look. This big Virgo energy over here and all my people connected with me is big Virgo energy, okay? Don't come over here with the bull crap. Don't come over here half-stepping, acting like you don't know we're intuitive. If you don't know, you better ask somebody. You're going to get your head busted, all right? <laughs> with the love of the Lord. Because ain't nobody trying to fight you, but we dang on sure going to call you out and you're going to look stupid. So we be trying to tell you ahead of time. Somebody say, I be trying to tell them ahead of time. Go ahead and type it down. I be trying to tell. And I don't want to hear you say, I always try. No. Say, I be trying to tell them. Because you do. Unavailable. <laughs> this person is unavailable to give you everything that you deserve. They're unable to do it. And they know it. Look at Higgle's spirit. <laughs> Look, here your angels like, come on, we got to get this one married. Look, second chance. This relationship deserves a check. Second chance. Yeah, he's just trying to go down. here. Take her. She's a beautiful. Take him. He look. He can do the job. Okay. Look. Wait. The timing is just not right. That's all. This person gonna be getting their stuff together and coming back sometime in the winter, maybe. For some of y'all, it's gonna be the spring because I keep seeing that in the pre-shuffle boundaries. Firm boundaries are needed now. Come on. Look. You already know. Y'all already know, and you've already been on it. You like, nope, I already know, and that's why they mad. I don't have time. That ain't my problem. Okay? Yes. 
someone is secretly yearning for you. Yeah, of course they are, right? So spirit, what should, so spirit is saying that this deserves a second chance. Just wait. Keep your boundaries up for now. This person is unavailable to give you what you want. They're still tangled, tied up in this situation. However, they're not letting you go. They're watching you. And this person has grown to love you. You got two people watching you for my um, female Virgos. Somebody is saying, oh my God, if I hope y'all can't hear my neighbor. He sounds terrible. He's singing. <laughs> anyway. Let me go ahead and close out your reading. Let me get you one um, self-love affirmation card. Here we have stability at the bottom of the deck. This relationship can stand the test of time, but it's only going to work if both of you are healed. Not everybody's person that they're avoiding is horrible. It's just wrong time, bad timing. Sometimes that happens, you know. Y'all know. You know the vibes. I just wanted to see what came out because I want to make sure that nobody on this side is in danger. I thought that this would be a part two, but I'm not a storyteller. I don't control the cards, but I do read the energy. So this is what came out for you. They had a little bit of, of a different reading, just a tad, but I feel the same energy here, but it was other energy over there too. If anybody is dealing with somebody who is um, abusive or upset or angry at you because you let them go, you're getting these calls and stuff like that. That person wants to talk to you, but you need to be careful. Go and watch that other reading on Closer to My Destiny's Tea, and that's the number two. As um, soon as you type Closer, you should see my picture pop up, okay? We popping off like that, y'all, because of y'all love and y'all support and y'all loyalty. And I appreciate you. Self-love, self-discipline. Keep your word to yourself. Fall in love with how you feel when you are taking care of who? You. You come first, love. I want to see you taking care of yourself. I want you smelling good, looking good, do your hair, get that haircut, get that neck for that neck. Get that neck now because I'm a neck, I'm a neck soother, you know? <laughs> yeah, we don't like no beady beads on our soft manicured hands. Right, ladies? All right, let them know in the comments, okay? All right, loveys, I love you and thank you for being here with me. I will see you on the next video. If you want a personal reading and you want me to pour into you or you need me to tell you what your blockages are. Uh, some of you need encouragement or you want to see what's around you and why and what and what and why. What's wrong with these people? Get yourself a personal reading. Stop investing in Chick-fil-A. Save a couple of those meals and come and get a personal reading, okay? Closer. The number two. My destiny. The number one at gmail.com. I love you and I mean it. All right. Bye.